quite heavily depressed at the moment, so it'll be weird watching this in the future. Maybe in a week. <laughs> what, I said, what? What did I? Uh, yeah. Another? Another. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I miss Vault Festival. I miss Vault Festival. Uh, you know, when our word stops now. I miss. I miss Vault Festival. I miss. I, uh, when I did my first show here in 2016, I was doing the dress rehearsal on the day, so I came in about lunchtime, and someone had started painting a mural opposite the entrance, and it was clear that she was a really exceptional artist. This face had started appearing out of a wall, photorealistic. And I went back in, and I came back out for cigarettes, and as I did that through the afternoon and into the evening, this face emerged from the wall, an old man's face, and it was so beautiful. And it seems like the sort of place that you can go and talk to artists, that I, I wanted to go and ask her who it was. So I did. Uh, I, I went and it, it, she said it was her dad who died uh, a few months before and she wanted to paint his face. It was a thing that she did anyway, was do portraiture, graffiti portraiture, but she wanted to do her dad and it was beautiful. You could see a person brought to life, but massive. And then I did my show in the evening. First time I'd ever performed live on my own. A triumph, five stars said all of my friends that I'd come to. And uh, as I came out for a debrief and a cigarette after the show, she'd finished. She was just packing up her paints. She'd just signed it and we shared a smile. And then she turned and she walked off down the tunnel and she didn't turn around. She just left it, which was good because about 20 seconds after she left, a kid had got his red spray can and written bollocks over her dead dad's face, which my initial response to was like rage and like that was desecrating something. And I looked around for other, and then I looked around and I saw the walls thick with other beautiful works of art that had been covered up seconds after they were finished by Doug Trodge or, you know, Nugs, my favourite, or Nat has herpes, you know. There are better ways of getting the word out, I think, Nat, but it's good that you are telling people. Uh, you should call them. Uh, bollocks. But that's what she wanted? <laughs> I don't know if it's what he would have wanted, but she knew that was what was going to happen. She didn't do it because she wanted it to last forever. She did it because she wanted to do it big. And she wanted it to exist and she didn't care how long for. But also, isn't that the point? It existed. So maybe it always does. I miss Vault Festival. I miss having a little pass with a picture of my face on that gets you 10% off beers, which honestly makes them really reasonable if you listen to anyone who works at Vault Festival and they explain to you fully the economic situation inherent in your drinking booze at an arts festival that doesn't get any funding from any sort of national body. Uh, I miss bumping into someone I've not seen for ages in a dark tunnel and then watching a few shows with them and catching up. Uh, I really miss people trying hard to make other people happy. Uh, I miss the ephemeral nature of a hopeful endeavour that can only exist in our memories because it happens. And you were there, and we were all there, and now it's here. I miss Vault Festival. I miss big, joyful explosions of fuckwittery and colour. Oh, really? I miss being silly.